Argentine President Cristina Fernandez has announced a new bill which seeks to increase social welfare payments. From Buenos Aires, now our correspondent Laureano Ponce with the details. The president of Argentina, Cristina Fernandez, announced on Monday a new bill aimed at establishing two mandatory increases per year in the country's largest social welfare programs, the Universal Child Allowance and the Universal Pregnancy Allowance, and other similar plans. The bill will be sent to the parliament this week, and it is expected to be supported by both the ruling party and the opposition. I don't see why someone in the opposition would be against this initiative. On the contrary, I believe this bill will be quickly debated and unanimously approved. This new draft is based in the same system that automatically increases retirement pensions twice a year based on the country's tax income, salary increases average, and economic growth index, which was approved by the parliament in 2009. The idea behind these programs has changed over the years, from welfare to something that generates rights. It is not a handout in a pejorative sense, or like the welfare and populism that neoliberalism claims its policies to be. The president also announced an immediate 30 percent raise in the current funding for these programs, which will improve the incomes of the families of more than 3 million children and 70,000 pregnant women. This bill seeks to ensure that one of the most important policies of wealth distribution implemented by Cristina Fernandez's administration will remain a state policy despite the possibility of the arrival of a new government after the presidential elections in October. Laureano Ponce, Telesur, Buenos Aires.